Hey, you're happy for a Monday morning. I haven't seen you like this since you had Jenny. Yeah, yeah. And hey, my daughter's name's Janine. Dad, potato, potato. So, did you like win the lottery or something? <sighs> no, I, uh... You know inertia? Newton's first law of motion? Yeah, it's not real. <laughs> not real? The fuck you mean? I mean, it doesn't logically apply. Objects in motion don't stay in motion. And I have a way to prove it. I have a meeting with NASA tomorrow. The, the fucking president's gonna be there. <laughs> Bullshit. What would he even show him? So, I'm gonna be in my car while it's moving. Maybe going 10 miles per hour. And when I hit the sweet spot, I'm gonna jump out. What's wrong, Dad? You've barely touched your side spaghetti. Oh, it's, it's nothing. It's just uh, a new student joined my class today. Oh, is that bad for grading or something? Uh, he, uh, he knows inertia's a hoax. <laughs> it, it's no big deal. I mean, he doesn't have any proof or anything. It's just... Still, how could he possibly know that? We've covered it up for years. Is he some sort of genius? Genius? No. No, not at all. Who's a genius? But he's starting a class at the community science school, and while, yes, us Newtons have covered it up for centuries, it's just... If he gets enough people to listen to him, then an actual genius is bound to get on the right track. Why don't we just take care of it? Like Richfield last year, but at his community science school. What happened in Richfield? No, 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 that won't be necessary. It's just... I wish you kids were still old enough to... Uh, Enroll in his class, I would just have you go there and find out what he knows. Could I maybe help, Dad? Kevin, leave it at the kids' table. The grown-ups are talking. Come on, throw him a bone. He could be really helpful for this family. Jane, the kid comes up with these fake health issues to get out of work, like dyslexic, under pressure, now at fishing cancer. I mean, at least the first one is somewhat believable, but come on, Jane. Fishing cancer? No, it's real. I looked it up. You can get it from fishing too much, apparently. It's community school, right? You say it's for stupid people. I can do that, can I? Probably not. I'm pretty good at fishing. Right, a sport where you sit and do nothing. On top of that, it's going to give you cancer, apparently. Okay, who wants to watch a movie? I do. Kevin, you're doing the dishes in the garbage.
you want to go. I can pay your tuition. It shouldn't be too expensive. I heard the classes there take place in a garage. No, it's fine. I mean, if Dad doesn't think it's the right choice, then it probably isn't. He just doesn't push you. I think he should try it. Maybe, but he won't get mad or find out if you pay for it, right? Don't worry about it. He'd have to be actively stalking you or something for that to happen. Hey, uh, is this Michael Unger's anti-physics class? Right on, bro! Oh, cool. Why is it so empty? <laughs> Very astute of you, my dude. Papa Squat! Bring it in. You see, physics is a totally construed concept made by the top 1% to force kids to pay for college. When, really, it's just smart guys like me and you! Yeah, I don't... I think you use construed right. Oh, hey, cool, we got a new student. <laughs> right on, Mr. Unger. Well, since you knew, I'll have your first assignment be an essay about how much you hate physics. An essay? I have to write? Yep, use your crayon and use your paper. Hey, uh, Brian, can you, uh, like, I, I want to talk to our new student one-on-one. -on -one. Right on, Mr. Unger. Kevin, talk with me for a minute. I notice you, you haven't written anything down. Do, do you not hate physics? I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Unger. I just have a hard time reading and writing. Why is that? I don't know. You, you wouldn't believe me. Oh, tell me. What's up? It's just, I'm dyslexic under pressure, so I can't read or write when someone asks me to. I know it seems like a convenient excuse, but... No, not at all. It just sounds like a learning disability. That's all. Yeah, exactly. I bet we can work around it. Ah. Hey, you could try drawing instead of writing. Uh, sure. Whoa, Kevin, this is super well layered. There's there's so much nuance and complexity to this. It's it's really beautiful. Hey, have you, have you thought about, like, drawing schematics? Like, for machines? Yeah, let me show you. See, this is an anti-physics machine I've been working on. See, how it works is that when you turn it on, nothing happens, thus proving that physics isn't real. Uh-huh. Hey, maybe for tonight's homework, you could draw some of my inventions. I think you'd be really good at it. Oh, and maybe you can have your dad read the notes for you. Yeah, for, for sure. Hey, Kevin! <laughs> so. I couldn't help but overhear you and Mr. Unger talking. You're pretty good at drawing, huh? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I never thought it'd be something I'd be good at. Right on, bro! I've got my own special talent, too. Oh, cool. What is it? Beatboxing. Wanna see? Uh, sure, man. Go ahead. But, like, we can't do it, like, here. Like, it's too invasive and stuff. Like, you know, I'm not my element. Oh. It's cool, man. Don't worry. You can come to my house. You know, we got like, like Xbox and like we got pizza rolls. Uh, I got some root beer, you know, like mug. Yeah, maybe. I'll see. Right on, bro. 
Hopefully you could come to my house and we could lay down some dope beats. Please. 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 Yep. Yeah, man, it's fine. I'll go to your house. Yes! All right, man. I'll see you later then. That was school. Yeah, that's right. I saw you at home today, so I followed you. And you know what I saw? I saw you in class learning nothing. Yep. I stopped watching as soon as you whipped out the crayons. Did you eat them? Kevin, show me your tongue. Where are you going? We're having dinner in 15 minutes. I want to go to Ryland's house. Ryland? What? Is that a fucking person? Oh, me, me, me. I'm going to Ryland's house. Oh. Kevin! Why don't you uh, join us for dinner and you can sit at the grown-ups table? What? Yeah, you know, I just really appreciate the initiative you took with signing up for the class without my permission. It shows a lot of growth. I don't know. I'm, I'm just gonna go to Browns. back now and then we can talk about it tomorrow? Kevin, if you want to talk about it, it's gonna have to be here now. <laughs> oh shit! Did somebody get in trouble with his parents? Probably. You know, Mr. Unger has a kid, so if you have any like relational issues, you can talk to Mr. Unger about it. He's really down to earth and stuff. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I'll think about it. So, you two spend a lot of time after class. How's his home life? How's his wife doing? His wife? Dude, how should I know? Why do you even want to know? <laughs> no reason. So are you, you under pressure now too, or? Fine, I'm ready. Good. Let's get started then. Wow, these are really good, Kevin. Did your dad help you draw these? Uh, yeah, um, Mr. Unger, What's this uh, inertia hoax thesis? Uh, my dad and I couldn't really understand it, so it was kind of hard to draw. Oh, it's nothing you need to draw. It's for an experiment for one of my classes. You see, I'm gonna be jumping out of a moving vehicle and 
When I get out, I'll no longer be in motion while the vehicle stays in motion, thus proving that inertia is a hoax. Oh, yeah, cool. Is something wrong, Kevin? You seem even more distracted in my class today. Oh, I um, found out recently that I have a high risk of getting fishing cancer. Oh, is that from fishing too much? Yeah, basically. Isn't that kind of similar to science cancer? Science cancer? Yeah, I heard about this guy. He was a scientist and he got exposed to too much radiation and he got cancer and died. Isn't that just regular cancer? No, they're different. Trust me. Oh, sorry. So, did your dad teach you how to fish? No, someone else said he was kind of like a coach to me, I guess. Uh, he ended up getting fishing cancer and he, he died three months ago. Yeah, my best friend died too last year in a car crash right outside my house. His name was Bryant. We were best friends since we were kids. He was there through everything, even when I had a kid of my own. And he made a promise to me, but it just hurts that I'll never get to see him fill it. What was the promise? He promised he'd make love to my wife. Oh. It would have been nice. He was a really strong, muscular dude, really passionate too. Yeah. And I think my wife would have liked it a lot. Okay, yeah, I get it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, seeing that we're both down in the dumps, uh, would you like to work together in the anti-science competition? Mm, sure, what would we make? Well, there was a drawing you made that stood out to me that I didn't even write about. The time machine? You really think we can build that? Yeah, with our skills combined, we totally can. Wait here, I'll start gathering the parts. So, any news on his inertia hoax thesis? Oh, uh, he just plans on jumping out of his car. Uh, pretty much he'll stop while his car keeps on moving. Something about how like objects don't stay in motion. Yeah, it can't be the first time I've seen that. It's pretty solid evidence. When, when was the first time? Last year. Someone had the same idea. They're about to go public with it too. What, what stopped them? <sighs> they, uh, died in a mass shooting out in Ridgefield. Kevin, I didn't want your sister to tell you this. You'd get the wrong idea, but we were the ones who organized that shooting. I wanted to tell you first, since I believe your sister would make it out to seem that I intend to kill Michael, but I don't. What? separates Unger from the guy in Richfield is that we have you. So what do you plan on doing with Mr. Unger? Well, since he plans on using his car, I'll just um, mess with his engine, uh, make sure it doesn't start up. And you promise that? <laughs> of course, Kevin. Why don't you come upstairs? We have something for you.
Hey there. Two boys working on your project at the anti-science competition tomorrow? Yep. Well, alrighty then. If I could just get you boys to fill out this form here. Oh, uh, Mr. Unger, could you take this? That would be great. Oh, wait. Kevin, what's your full name? Oh, it's, um, Kevin Newton. This is just a coincidence. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's an athlete with the same last name. No, I don't doubt you. It's just, my teacher at the official science school, his name is Mr. Newton, and he's a total science bitch. But you're nothing like that. Alrighty, should be all set. He looks a lot like Brylin. Yeah, I see a lot of people that look like Brylin. My mailman, the secretary at the official science school. He even looks like my dead friend Bryant. Ah, oh, what the hell. Kevin, can you come fix this? Yeah, let me take a look at it. Yeah, you just have to screw this in here. Wow, Kevin, you're really smart for a Newton. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Stronger. It all makes sense, considering, like, where you come from. Not that I'm related to Mr. Noon or anything, right? Well, you know, you're, you're like a science sensei. Oh, uh, I should probably go. I, I gotta do my inertia experiment. Yeah, um, good luck. Sports fans, and welcome back to Sports News, where we have some tragic and breaking news. This evening, a devastating accident took place on the highway. The accident occurred at approximately 2.39 p.m. this afternoon, in which Michael Unger, a 33-year-old anti-science teacher, supposedly jumped out of his moving vehicle going at least 60 miles per hour. Authorities were quick to rule Unger's death as a suicide, the further investigation showed that the engine in Hunger's car had been tampered with. With this evidence, police have started speculating if Hunger's death was premeditated. Michael Hunger is survived by his only son, Michael Hunger Jr. A public memorial will be held for Michael Hunger this Wednesday at 10 a.m. outside his class at the Community Science School. Kevin, news, you'll be there, right? No. Excuse me? What, so you can just fucking kill him too? Kevin, calm down. I would never. I'm not doing it. Then do me the bare minimum at least and go to his workshop on Sunday. There's an open house. Just find anything. Something. Fuck you. Fine. I'll do it myself. You can go to the funeral tomorrow. I'll make sure Dad doesn't know. He shouldn't be bothering you right now. And you don't have to worry about that Unger business anymore. I'll take care of it. I'll talk to Dad, all right? Are you holding up? Did he ever say anything racist to you? What do you mean? He called me the science sensei before he left to do his experiment. I... It took me off guard. I couldn't say anything to him. 
I'm sorry, man. In all the years I knew him, I can't say I've ever heard him say anything like that. I thought he only started teaching this year. Yeah, he did. We used to be really good friends. Best friends. You're Bryant, aren't you? <laughs> he told you about me? That's nice to hear. Why didn't you tell me you're still alive? He thought you were dead. Well, you see, I, I made a promise to him. Oh God, no. A promise that I intend to keep. I promised I would make sweet, passionate love to his hot wife. That I'd really pleasure her. And that our warm, hot bodies would mingle. Okay, yeah, Jesus, man, I get it. Yeah, man, you get it. I thought if I fake my death, then the day he'd find me having sex with his wife, it'd be like a double surprise. I mean, how awesome would it be if your best friend came back to life and was having sex with your wife right in front of you? Well, even if it were awesome, you were too late. In the end, you just left him with no friends. That's not true. I was his mailman, his student, the secretary at the official science school. I was there every step of the way. I found plenty of time to talk with him. But you weren't his friend. If you ever need somebody to talk to, just let me know. I'll just talk to my sister. You're junior, right? Yeah. Were you one of his students? Yeah. Do you know who could have done this? I, I don't know, I'm, I'm sorry. Maybe his, his physics teacher? I mean, if he knew he was gonna prove inertia as a hoax, why wouldn't he? There's an open house for your dad's workshop on Sunday, right? Yeah. So, if his teacher did it, then he'd be there to find more stuff about your dad, right? Yeah, he would. His son, right, uh, Michael Jr.? I, uh, I'm sorry for your loss. He was a, a good man, a good student, too.
It was Junior, right? Unger's kid? Yeah, we figured. Who else? So he knows about inertia. If he killed Dad, then yeah, probably. You know, all of this could have been avoided if we just did the same thing as in Richfield. Does anyone know what school he goes to? We can look. Are you sure? We should have done it from the start. Where are you going? Jane, what's going to happen? I thought you didn't want to be involved anymore. I, I don't, but you can't do that. You won't, right? Jane, that's a fucking school. We're only killing him. That's not the point. You can't. Kevin, we are not wasting our time finding his address, and we are not going to leave a trace. He knows too much, and we are not risking him telling anybody. Jane, he doesn't know anything. I told him. You did what? What does that mean? I saw him at the funeral, Jane. And you fucking told him? He did not closure. I didn't think he would. No! Kevin. You're doing the dishes. <laughs>